Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen to the Status Report highlight for the 8th of November 2016. And this week's Status Report has got some really good information regarding the future of DayZ. From 0.61's experimental unstable testing to 0.62 leading towards Beta. So what we're going to do is lay it all out and explain it to you as simple as I possibly can. Hopefully we can avoid people misunderstanding information. So let's get started. As many of you may know, we've gone through several iterations on experimental unstable branch for 0.61. With our principal focus being on server stability and performance, the gameplay programming team has been experimenting with several possible options in improving our server-side performance, which you as survivors will directly see as improved infected responsivity and speed, faster user actions, and general overall improved responsivity to your interactions with the world. While we've made some strong improvements in regards to stability, we're not quite where we'd like to be with server performance. As Brian's mentioned many times before, server performance is and will continue to be an ongoing area of focus for us throughout development and into the beta phase. That said, it is especially important to the 0.61 experience, given that at a gameplay level the dynamic spawn of infected is such a cornerstone, he won't spend too much time talking about this, as Mirik is going to elaborate a bit on some of the different changes his team has been working on in this area further in the status report. So with that being said, let's take a look at what critical issues we have on 0.61 Experimental Unstable Branch. VoIP icon missing when using VoIP. Server performance can dip below an acceptable line. Character deformation when entering structures under high ping. Character model twitching when standing on bodies. Several client-side crashes. VoIP volume balancing. Character sounds balancing. Character's hands stuck raised in some situations. Server-side crashes tied to specific item. Character rollbacks during some server crashes. Reconnecting, manipulating weapon magazine can prevent magazine use. Keep in mind this is just a list of critical fixes that must be achieved for 0.61 stable build. And of course, if you've encountered other critical issues, please let the team know via the feedback tracker or on the official forums. Links to those I will leave in the description below. But what exactly is going to happen after 0.61 hits stable branch? Well, the plan is for a splinter team of five developers approximately to start work on an interim for 0.62 visual overhaul of Chernerus. But what exactly do we mean by that? Well, let's take a look. How about new road surfaces? Damaged roadways. New dirt roads. How about forest density and fidelity? Or my personal favorite, forest undergrowth and clutter. Now in addition to the obvious goal of bringing the visual appearance of Chunras Plus to a more modern level, the massive improvement in making our forests not only look more real, but to allow users to more believably create hidden camps and stashes in forests that more closely resemble the forests you might find in the Czech Republic is obvious. It merits mentioning that these images we are sharing with you here are initial tests. There is still a good deal of work and analysis required to see how dense and believable we can make these forests, fields and so on without compromising client-side performance. However, we're all excited by what we've achieved so far, and as we get closer to this interim 0.62 milestone that the small team dedicated to it is working on, we'll be sharing more, both visually and input on where we are with these goals. And while this splinter team works on the overhaul of Chernerus's Visual Fidelity 0.62 update, the primary bulk of the DayZ development team will be switching their focus to the beta milestone for DayZ. Beta for us is a major point in development, and it goes without saying that it has its own challenge and hurdles. This milestone is focused on the following areas. New animation system, new player controller, new user actions, improved vehicle physical simulation, and a big feature content backlog. Now we all know and are greatly anticipating some of these beta milestone goals, but what is the feature content backlog? There are a good deal of gameplay systems, mechanics, items, and more that we have talked about in previous status reports, presentations, and are sitting in the in-progress column on our Trello. Nearly every single one of them are dependent on technologies listed in the milestone goals for beta, either through technical limitations, or having just been written from the ground up on N4 script and designed with the new tech specifically in mind. Here are some examples of this feature content backlog. Base building improvements. Electrical system items. Character lifespan. New vehicles. New items and weapons.
So let's finish by summarising the road ahead. Currently the team are focusing on critical issues with 0.61 experimental unstable branch leading up to its stable branch release. Once 0.61 reaches stable branch, a small splinter team comprised of roughly 5 developers, mostly artists, environmental designers and support from one programmer, will start work on Chernerus Plus Visual Fidelity Overhaul Update 0.62. At the same time, the primary bulk of the development team will be starting work on the beta version of DAISY Standalone, which will be comprised of the milestone goals mentioned earlier. We still have a ways to go before we see 061 hit Stable Branch, 062's Visual Fidelity Overhaul, and get to play with all the new exciting tech, content and features coming within beta. So let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, all links will be in the description below. As always, I recommend reading the status report in full for yourselves for the most amount of information that it holds and I'll see you peeps next time.